In this Blender tutorial aimed at people who are relatively new to working in Blender, I will show you how to make a simple three dimensional dice using texture paints. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, with the cube selected, you'll first need to unwrap the surfaces. So you'll need to go into edit mode. So just press tab on your keyboard and then select UV and then select unwrap. Select texture paint at the top of the screen. And you should see something that looks like a cross highlighted here. And this is the faces of this cube unwrapped. But at present, you won't be able to do anything. Next to no textures, select the plus sign and then select base color. Now the width and height is to do with the pixels that you're going to be using. So these are quite low, so the circles will have sort of flat faces to them. Um, they'll be a bit pixely on the edge. So change the width to something like 3000 don't hit return just select the bottom one and select it again so sort of double click type in 3000 and then do the same for the color so select the color bar and then select it again now you can use any color you want here by moving this um, little dot in the middle I'm gonna just drag this down to black to make things simple and then make sure you select OK and this will give you a black textured paint over your cube. To see it in this section here just select the browse image to be linked next to new and select material base color. Now you'll need to roll your middle mouse to zoom in and out. I'm going to just get my screencast working up here a minute. okay press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top orthographic view and I'm going to select the viewpoint shading rendered this is this little dot up here and then you can roll your middle mouse to zoom in or out make sure that you don't change the zoom amount after you've sort of got the view that you're going to work with in this instance because you it will change the size of the circle so I'm going to leave it as this and top of the screen select mix and then add I'm going to leave the color white you can change the color down here if you want I'm going to keep this set at white the radius you can change up here but 50 pixels I'm gonna um, work with that and also the strength make sure it's set at 1. And the only other thing further on down on this panel here is a uh, if you select the arrow next to fall off and then select custom what I would do is select constant and just left click over your cube somewhere in the middle just to see or make sure you're happy with the size of the circle like I said you can change it up here now I'm going to press Control Z to remove that circle and now I'm going to select the wireframe view up here and I'm going to place my pointer in the middle and left click Now press 1 on your numbers pad and starting in the top right corner use the smaller squares I'm going to come in 3 from the right and 3 from the top and left click I'm going to do the same here so I've got two dots this won't look like some of the Google Unwrap if you Google Unwrap a cube this won't be the same I'm going to press 3 on my numbers pad. I'm going to come to the bottom 
right three squares in and left click I'm going to go to the middle do the same I'll do this quite quickly so you want to make sure that these are going in the opposite direction now hold down control followed by three on your numbers pad and this time got to remember yep four so I've got a dice in front of me here um, again three in from the edge three squares in from the edge you're going to place four dots hold down control followed by seven on your numbers pad and then working from the top you're going to place three dots using the three square in and finally hold down control followed by one on your numbers pad place a dot in the middle and then four more to make five that one was a bit over so I'm going to press control Z and do that one again okay back to the top of the screen select layout and I'm gonna select viewpoint shading material preview and hopefully you should have something if you hold your middle mouse down in fact I'll just get my screencast working again if you hold your middle mouse down you should have something that looks like this and that's exactly what the dice in front of me looks like okay so let's put some shape to this look for the little wrench select this and select add modifier and then bevel now using the little arrow on the right not the dot you want the arrow just select the sort of size that you're want to bevel your edge by so I'm going to go this is 0.16 and the segments again I'll take up to 10 I'll do select the drop down arrow and then select apply right click and then select shade smooth look for the materials property button select this and then reduce the roughness all the way down now at present this is uh, looks like someone's back garden <laughs> so all I would do is just select the drop down arrow here select the globe and then select the studio sh um, studio light you should have something that looks like this now if you want to create an image of this press zero on your numbers pad so that you are looking down the camera N to bring up this panel and in view place a tick in the box where it says camera to view and you can hold your middle mouse down to move and rotate your view around so let's go for that looks pretty good I think you can roll your middle mouse to zoom in and out and you can also hold down shift and your middle mouse to sort of center it up so we'll go with that I'm going to unselect camera to view press N to close that down and I want to get rid of all the grids so just select or deselect show gizmo deselect show overlays and this is going to be the image I'm going to create now I'm not going to render it not the normal way I'm going to render this um, 
this viewpoint shading view so to do that you need to actually go into view and then select viewport shading a uh, render image once it's rendered simply select image save as and I've already got a dice in here so I don't know I'll just give it something simple D1 that'll do call it what you want and then save as image and hopefully you should have an image that looks something like this thank you for watching cheers